everybody. Josh here at North Athens Fit Body Bootcamp. I'm here with Caitlin. We have another at-home workout for you. This at-home workout is going to be a dumbbell complex. So grab your dumbbells you just have sitting around. They might be propping a door open right now. If you haven't used them in a while, just say grab them. You're going to use them. So what we're going to do is five reps of most of these exercises, ten reps of some of these exercises. So. Grab your dumbbells. You're gonna start by warming up for five to ten minutes and get ready for this. And then you're gonna get started. You're gonna put 15 minutes on the clock, and I want you to try to get as many sets in as you can in that 15 minutes. You ready, Caitlin? Yep. Okay. So we're gonna start with squat row. She's gonna get those dumbbells at her shoulders. She's gonna sit her butt back and then go as low as she feels comfortable, and then press with those dumbbells when she gets to the top of that squat. There we go. Squeeze those glutes nice and tight. Deep breath in as you squat down. Push that air out as you come back up. She's going to do 10 of those. And then she's going to go into speed skaters here. So she is going to reach down to the opposite foot with one hand. She's going to squat slightly as she does it. She's going to reach for the ceiling with the other arm. Trying to reach up to the ceiling, not far behind you. You don't want to over-rotate all of those abs. Opposite hand to the foot, the other hand goes up to the ceiling. You do five on each side here. Now she's going to go down to the floor for some renegade rows. So she's going to get to that push-up position, squeeze those glutes nice and tight, wall up those abs, push the ground away from you with one arm as you pull that dumbbell up to the armpit with the other arm. Now, if this is hard on your hand, you can just put one hand on the floor and do 10 on one side and then 10 on the other side here. Squeeze those glutes nice and tight, keep those hips turned into the floor. Okay, now she's going to come back up and she's going to do some reverse flies with those dumbbells. She's going to sit her foot back, get her chest out, over her toes, wall up those abs, keeping her chest up, and she's going to squeeze those shoulder blades. And notice how she's trying not to move her torso as she pulls up. So you don't want to compensate here. Squeeze those glutes nice and tight, wall up those abs, push that air out. There we go. A slight bend in those elbows. She's pushing that hair out as she comes up. Awesome, Caitlin. Now she's going to go back down to the floor for some push-ups. So you can hold on to the dumbbells or you can put both hands on the floor here. She's going to squeeze those shoulder blades together. She lowers herself down, squeezing those glutes, walling up those abs. Deep breath in on the way down. You want to feel like you're pulling yourself down to the floor and then push the ground away from you. Now if you're getting tired, you can lower your knees to the floor here, squeezing those shoulder blades still and pushing the ground away from you. Same breathing pattern. In on the way down, push the air out on the way up. You can also try shoulder taps if you're getting tired near the end of this workout. Go as wide as you need to with those feet. And then, nice and controlled, you can do 10 taps on each shoulder. Then she's going to come back up. She's going to do some side lunges now. So she's going to step out to the side here, reaching for the toe with that opposite hand. And notice how this hand stays right at her hip as she drops down. Deep breath in as she steps out to the side. And she's going to push that air out as she pushes up and over. Notice how she keeps her foot straight. Once she takes that step, she sits her butt back. The other straight leg just acts as a kickstand there to help support your balance. And then she's going to go into some power curls to finish up here. So she's going to bring those dumbbells up to her shoulders. Now she's going to swing her hips back, bring those dumbbells right outside her hip. She's going to squeeze her glutes nice and tight. She's jumping off the floor, pulling those dumbbells right up to her shoulders here, pushing that air out as she squats down. Pushing that back up, excuse me. There we go. Breath, push that air out. There we go. So that's our dumbbell complex. Give it a try. Remember, you want to try to do five to ten reps of each exercise for 15 minutes. See how many sets you can get done in that 15 minutes. You want to aim for somewhere between four and eight sets of that complex, depending on the weight that you're using on those dumbbells. So give this workout a try. Remember to cool down afterwards, stretch out. Let us know how you like this workout. We look forward to hearing from you. Thanks a lot.